Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're getting back to the Ford mower. In this video, I'll be making the cutout for the shifter, a custom skid plate, and a couple belt guards for the bottom of the frame.
Okay, so I just got finished installing a couple guards here under the frame. This is just some really thin sheet metal to prevent any sticks or trees or stuff like that from getting caught in the belts. I've got one up here covering this front belt here and then um, one down here covering the middle section of the frame. And I think that should work out um, pretty nicely. Back here, I made a custom skid plate that attaches to the front mounting points of the transaxle. And this will help protect the transaxle in case I run over something, something big like a rock or a stump. Uh, instead of hitting the, the front of the transaxle right here and possibly cracking this aluminum case here, it'll just hit the skid plate and no damage will be done. This is really nice and strong here, so I think this should work out really well. It doesn't cover the whole transaxle back here. You can see this part's still open, but it is um, higher than this, this part right here. So I'm thinking that this should work out um, really nicely. And then up top here, I've got the um, shifter panel made here. Um, I really like this cutout that I made for it. The way it works is over here, you have reverse, neutral, and then your gears one, two, three, four, five, and six. I designed this to be pretty simple and a kind of sleek design with a, a pretty narrow opening in there, and I really like how, how it looks. And one thing I did on this that I haven't really seen on any other factory lawnmowers like this is I've added these notches in where each gear is. So first gear slips into this little notch, second, third, um, fourth, fifth, sixth is just over there. But these notches are really helpful because that makes it so you can actually see exactly where um, the shifter needs to go because you can see this does have some play in it and most lawnmowers they just have a, a smooth slot all the way with like the numbers um, written up on the top and it's kind of it's kind of hard to know exactly where you're putting this this with the notches you don't even have to look down at this to shift one or two gears up because you can just you can just feel this you can feel taking it out of the groove and putting it into the new one and I think it works really well neutral I made a little bit deeper here um, just because that's how I see um, most of the lawnmowers I figured why not do it like that and then Reverse and sixth gear don't have their own little groove just because they're at they're at the end of the whole thing So so yeah, that's pretty much the whole um completed drive system now the next thing I'm going to be doing is putting on this um, That piece right there that kind of like cowl dashboard thing that holds the steering wheel in That's just gonna go right up in front of here And then I'll be able to start hooking up the steering. I'll get a steering wheel in there after that I'll move off to the back here and get those those fenders on there, and then on to other stuff. So anyways, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.